Hello guys, I know it's a shocker to see me. So, it's been a long time since I've recorded and posted on YouTube. It's just that I haven't been wanting to. is isn't going too well. And stuff. And, um... I've had a sprained thumb for the past way. I've not played Girl Tiger in a long time. I'm not really used to it anymore. At all. And my f best friend Harley. He is definitely better than me now. <laughs> it's just that I don't play the same more. I spend my time on Reckon. So we might, I, I, I'm, I'm quitting, I'm quitting YouTube, I might post every once in a while on Rec Room, but like, if I, it might, may not be frequently, frequently, it may be like very, very, every like, once in two weeks, three weeks, I may post or I might just decide to quit completely. It's just a lot of work. And you guys probably don't think that because I don't edit, but it is hard work. I ran out of video videos and stuff. I just... I'm giving up, so... This is the last you'll... Most likely be seeing me on YouTube. So yeah, I'm quitting. Um. So yeah, this video, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do an apologising video. So this video is gonna be me just playing Gala Tag for the last time on this YouTube channel. I may do like live streams on my PS4 or something, like on Rack Room or. Something like that. Cause yeah. I've been playing I've been playing record a lot. With Harley. I'm, I'm sure Harley's Harley is probably sick. Um, me just playing record all the time. But yes, the last time you see me on the YouTube channel after this video. The reason why I'm quitting is because my YouTube channel is just not going well whatsoever. I'm really grateful for the people that subscribed to me without me asking them. I'm really happy about that. So thank you so much, but fortunately I have to quit. And it's really hard to post because this girl started. So, yeah, it's really, really hard. So, yeah. But let's just go off that topic for a while and just play good, I guess, no, no. I might post, but most likely not. Sometimes if I'm in a really, really, really good mood, I will most likely post. But not really.
I definitely probably will be doing live streams, definitely. Because I love doing live streams on my PS4. Really fun. I love showing off my Spider-Man skills. If there's anybody that would like to compete with me on like, on like Spider-Man skills or something. I know it's an offline game, but you can try and make it online. Or like we can do a competition or something. And I'm really good at like... Fortnite and stuff. Well, not really. I'm just saying that. <laughs> that is was trying to say something else. But yeah, I'm good at GTA 5. So if you wanna do a competition with me on GTA 5, friend me on PS4. My user is my YouTube. Mr. Wasabi VR. My profile picture is Galaxy. Like a Galaxy background thing. I did that when my name was Mr. Galaxy VR. So, yeah. <laughs> no. Wait. Hmm. I wonder if I can try to be competitive. Oh, jeez. I remember I used to be literally addicted to competitive. But I'm not. I'm addicted to rec room. And stuff, but yeah. I should be able to be competitive at least. If not, I am terrible at the game. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play that. Yeah. <laughs> Still a little bit rusty. I wonder if I can do some of my old tricks that I always used to do. No, I can't. Hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Honestly, I've never done that before. I've never, like, went back on it, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna show you my user on record. Oh crap. It's gonna get on record. Mr. Wasabi VR. This is not my official outfit. I'm going to show you my official outfit. Mm -hmm. I made the storm room all by myself because I'm a builder. Ta da! My original outfit. But usually I wear this outfit now because I love wings and stuff. And I have Reckon Plus. I've been playing Reckon since 2021. But obviously on a different account. That's level 50 to max level. I made this. It's like a J. Like a fancy form, I guess. It's like my first ever free outfit. Like I put together and stuff. And my first ever paired outfit was this one, which is my favourite outfit because it's my first ever one. So I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple ice pitch. Well, first table trash. So if you have, if you turn off uniform shapes, if you, ha if you have it on. Whoa. I don't know what that was. So if you, why is a green skin popping up? So if you go to world space and if you see snapping, go on the grid and then just start making your table. I, I, I'll i just show you what I did build. It's like a modern, it's a modern, it's a, bleh, I cannot talk today. It is a modern table and chair. Mm. 
here it is it's very basic oops and yeah this is pretty much it pretty nice hey okay. i um made this as well it's an outline of me obviously and i do not have a blonde mark in real life on my head it's just that i like blonde hair because i usually get my hair dyed hair dyed blonde but i forgot to do it i usually do it on like summer but i'm gonna ask to like do it or like blonde tips or something but yeah let's get to it so select a color i'm just gonna do purple because purple is my favorite color and let's do that that's this is the kind of purple i like like my makeup pen I have stick drift right away guys, so sorry if it's really bad. So this is just the base of the table. You're gonna wanna make it like very thin. Okay, now. This is just gonna be a quick and simple tutorial. So you're gonna wanna make a flat surface like this. And you're gonna wanna do a grid up to the corner here. And then just do it to the end. And now you're gonna wanna scale it so it's like very, very thin. I guess. You don't have to do it this big, by the way, guys. Like, you don't have to do it this big. But I'm just doing it. You know what? Never mind. I'll just do it normally. And then, if you go on your makeup pen, go to cone flip. You can bring it. You can copy it and bring it over here. And then just move it a bit more. Perfect. Now time to make a chair so I'm just gonna draw another like so once you draw your rectangle it's gonna be a very thin chair so once you draw your rectangle you're gonna wanna start you're gonna wanna move it back a bit more because why not On the end, I'm going to want to cone flip again. And I'm going to go on the rotate. Make sure it goes like down to the bottom of that. And just bring it down your face. And you have the setting part of your chair done. Now you're going to want to do the legs. But I'm going to do a fancy leg. Instead of just doing like four legs like this. Boring. <coughs> Sorry guys, I just farted. Um... Sorry if you heard that. <laughs> Holly, if you're watching us, I bet you're laughing your head off. Okay. Well, I actually, I might actually continue my YouTube channel. Yeah, I might continue on Reckham though. And do like makeup and tutorials and stuff. Because I love teaching people how to use their makeup and even though I barely even know how to use it myself. I just literally made this table and charge out of nowhere. I was like, let's try and make a table and charge. 
but I did go to the Career Academy for like a few minutes just to learn how to do some circuits and I learned I was going to learn how to do a jetpack as well but it was too hot but I did learn how to make an ice bridge for that we're going to make a simple lump Mm, that's not very good. Simple T1 chairs. <laughs> Done. Ta da. Now, time to make a lamp. This is going to be quick, simple lamp. Just a very, very quick lump. <laughs> this is the lump that they use in the demonstration for when I was learning to build a light switch. They did this, and then this is kind of what they did. Just pretend it's a lump. Not very. Good lump, but it's good enough for now. Mm, mm. Just for a noob builder, you know? Oh. Now, so, let's drop my makeup on so I'm done editing. You're going to want to get your palette. Go to props, well, circuits, never mind. And circuit components. Look over until you find a point light. Just put it there. So as you see, the light does the light in my drawing. If you go to configure, you can configure how bright it's gonna be. Like for instances, this. This is what we're gonna use. So we so <laughs> let's get blinded, okay? Let's get blinded. So this is I'm just gonna, I normally make it very bright for demonstrations to people, so they know if the light turns on or not. And then once you get your point light, scroll over, right, until you find toggle button, this. Let's just put it right there. Okay, now you've got your toggle button. If you go to your mm, tools mm. menu, connect. And then, so if you go to rest, connect it to turn on. If you go to release, bring over to turn off. And congratulations, you've done my light switch. See? A working, functioning light switch. Works every time. I love making light switches. I'm a light switch master. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Bye bye. See you later, guys.